Hey fanboys, hey fangirls, Carnell Holly here on day three. Yes. And finally with Miss Karen Ashley. I know it took us the whole weekend. Like we tried to do this every single day and Hitting it was it. so busy. It was so busy. But we had so much fun at Ranger Stop and Pop, didn't yes. we? Yes. Oh, yep. thank you so much for doing your promo oh, for no, the show. No doubt. He no was doubt. like amazing. I was like, repost <laughs> instantly. It was so good. Oh man. I and, and it was so funny because uh I saw you at Momocon. Yes, yes. Totally wasn't expecting to see you there. I know. I was the I was the Momocon surprise. That's what I call myself. <laughs> no, now the the thing was because uh, mm -hmm. a buddy of mine sent me the information for the order, and yes. I'm just like thinking to myself, like I know this. Yeah. But. I didn't remember about it because I forgot about it because I didn't see it and I was thinking that it was already out, but it's coming out. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have a date, a release date yet, but we will be shooting it this year. Okay. So yeah, we haven't finished shooting it. A lot of people think we shot it because we did a really cool sizzle reel. Right. And it was very elaborate, but it, we honestly shot that in three days. Like that that's how my crew, how, how professional these actors are mm. because I literally was like, guys, we're gonna shoot Power Ranger style three days. We're gonna shoot a ton of stuff. You're not gonna have any rehearsal time. You're just gonna have to do it. And they were like, okay. And and like that's how we would shoot in Power Rangers. Like they'd go, okay, go over there. You got 20 minutes to learn your fight. And then it was awesome. So they did the same thing. Like 25 years later, they pulled it off. So yeah, but we're gonna shoot the order this year. And as soon as we know the date, you'll be one of the first mm, to know mm, for mm. sure. No, no. Um, I did not know that you wrote it. Because yeah. you also, because I, I didn't know, I know about your acting, mm -hmm. but I didn't know about your your writing producing, and producing. Yeah. So I'm just like, wow, like I'm, I, I need to set my <laughs> game up on this one because you you also wrote the um, the one with Johnny. Devin's uh, ghost. Yes. 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 So, yeah. Yeah, you know what, I've always had, uh, I've always liked to write, and I remember years ago I was complaining because I was getting terrible auditions, or I would be like the friend of the friend, you know, it was like there were no parts. And my friend said, stop complaining, why don't you write the parts you want? And so at that moment, it just like, I don't know what, it was like an aha moment, and I was like, you're absolutely right, like why, why do that? And it, it was just a natural progression for me to become a writer and producer, and yeah, I, I co-wrote The Order with David Fielding. Right who was Zordon. So, but we're super excited about it. It's an action movie. It's about a, a group of vigilantes and assassins who shadow the FBI and CIA. And they basically, their only mission is to restore order in the world. And I mean, when you think about that, like, are they good guys? Or are they bad guys? They're definitely in that gray area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, 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 that's so hot. Like, um, because like I know Johnny, Johnny Young Bosch, he had a, a, a few few movies that I'm still trying to watch, like the, yeah. um, like true, not True Grit, um, Grit, I can't think uh, of the. I know, I, I've seen, I know what you're saying, mm. I can't think of it either, but he's had a lot of really cool projects mm. also, yeah, you're right. Damn. So I'm, I'm pretty excited because, uh, but you said that the, the comic book is out, mm -hmm. so how do we... The graphic novel, you can go to theordercomic.com and you can order it, and that, those stories in the graphic novel are actually the prequel stories to the movie, mm. so where the graphic novel ends is where the, where the movie will pick up. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I'm, I'm really excited about this movie. But uh, as far as Ranger Stop, mm -hmm. Ranger Stop, I mean, it's it's been real. Uh, had my fanboy moment. Yeah. So I've enjoyed myself. Now, what what's 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 next for Ranger Stop for like next year? I mean, what are we? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a Ranger Stop two in 2020 here mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Um, we don't have dates yet. We just we're barely wrapping this one up. But we will start announcing dates hopefully in the next few weeks and we'll get to planning and we'll get to you know I'll, I'll convince more of my friends to come and do the show and have fun with us because this was definitely a successful weekend right right oh yeah well just off the top now uh, Miss, Miss uh, Patricia J. Lee, who um, I think she's she's gone on a bit of a hiatus. Could this mm -hmm. possibly bring her back out? I don't know. Yeah. I would love for her to do this show. If, if, if she's available, we would love for her to come and do Ranger Stop. Mm. Yeah. I know, it's just like, but, <laughs> hey. 
Sorry, he's got his wish list, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, it, it's pretty long, but I'm just like, yeah, just yeah. About what? I know we got so many. Th it was hilarious because all weekend long, people were like, okay, if you're doing a ranger shop too, we want this person, that person, this person. Like, I mean, they gave us a whole long list of who they wanted, mm -hmm. and we were like, okay, well, we're working on it. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish everyone could fit in here and everyone would be able right. to come, but that's very expensive. <laughs> we got to fly these people out. We got to give them a hotel. It's all very expensive. Yes, it is. It does yeah. Add up. Yeah. Add up quick. Very quick. Oh man. But um, I, I I don't want to keep you, but I'm like like I'm just uh, winding down, just yeah. like everybody's moving out, <laughs> closed up shop. So uh, if you haven't come down this year, come on down next year. Join in on the fun. You know what I'm saying. So with uh, oh um off the top, because you're a founder. Nikki is a founder. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how you uh, come in contact with Ranger Stop. Um, well, we've been doing Ranger Stop Orlando for years. Um, I did Nikki did the first year. I've done. I did the second year, and we've kind of been going to that show forever. And we've just become really good friends with Mikey. And we knew that he wanted to add a second city, mm -hmm. um, but he was like, "Oh, you know, one day, one day, one day." And so I think when we were like, "Look, we want to invest," he was like, "Oh," and it just seemed to be like something that would be possible with three people as opposed to just one so because he's a one-man band in Orlando and I don't know how he does it I mean we did this show and it took all three of us and I mean it was hard work for six months just to get the show off the ground um, so I don't know how he's done it and he's he's amazing and so I think us coming on and saying that we wanted to be a part of it he was like yeah let's try it and then we kind of just decided Atlanta and it just kind of when we said Atlanta the pieces just fall into place so we knew this was the place that we needed to be Sweet, I'm glad I was like not just because I'm, I'm here. It yeah. makes things a, lot, a little easier. But it yes. was like, I, I've seen Mike, and, and I mean, he's real low key. Like, I, I knew who he was, and it was just like, just all about that business, just going mm -hmm. back and forth. I was like, hey, I still got to get an interview with him. But, um,. This was this was cool. Thank you, thank you. Well, thank you for coming. I hope you guys make it next year. Appreciate you. Yes. 